manual pump shift override. If the air shift fails to engage the pump, then use the manual shift instead of the air shift to engage the pump. The manual pump shift control is located near the pump panel. This handle also controls the shift lever on the pump. Shift the transmission into the neutral position. Apply parking brake. Apply service brake by depressing and holding the brake pedal. Move the pump shift control located in the cab in the neutral position. This allows the air on the road position of the air cylinder to vent to atmosphere. Only operate the manual pump shift when both the automatic transmission and pump shift control are in neutral. Otherwise, engine or transmission damage can occur. Pulling the manual pump shift handle under pressure will lead to damage to the lever. Exit the vehicle and proceed to the pump panel. Engage the manual pump shift by pulling the handle with steady pressure. The handle should pull out three inches and you should feel the pump transmission shift into gear. Proceed back to the cab. The pump engaged light should be illuminated. Move the pump shift control into the pump position. The pump shift control must be in the pump position when operating the pump. Shift the transmission into drive. The OK to pump light should illuminate. Disengaging manual pump shift override. Shift the transmission to neutral. The OK to pump light will turn off. Move the pump shift control into the neutral position. Air will now vent off the pump side of the air cylinder. Exit the cab and proceed to the pump panel. Disengage the manual pump shift by pushing the handle into the closed position. Proceed back to the cab. The pump engage light will be off. Move the pump shift control to the road position. Operate the manual pump shift control each Friday to prevent buildup of dirt, grime, and road debris that will inhibit the smooth operation of the cable.